Stick your nose right in there. So I'm gonna see if I can get Homeland to eat this glizzy out of my mouth. Oh, okay, that's not a glizzy. Scouts insisted on being set down. Look at this little man pinching my thumb. It did not pass inspection, womp womp. Look how nice and healthy he is. Hi, sisters. Now we have a little crawfish friend in here. He still just wants to get in there and eat all of them. This is for tax purposes. Uh, I just bought 15 pounds of crawfish. But this is now a tax write-off. I paid $55 for these. That's right, guys. Urban Rescue Ants just saved 15 heaping pounds of fresh crawfish. Whoa, guys, what an epic haul. As you can see, I got my chicken feed, uh, all these adorable little lights here, uh, some milk, and all these adorable crawfish. Oh, beautiful, wow. Take a look at that, you guys. All of this beautiful life in here. And every one of these poor creatures would have died if it wasn't for me saving them. We're saving all of these. I'm a good person. Everyone go in the comments and say, wow, Uncle Ben, thank you so much for being such a good person and saving all 15 pounds of those crawfish. Just just kidding, you guys. I'm going to be feeding all 15 pounds of this crawfish to Big Ounce. Come here, son. Go ahead and have... Oh, as you can see, Big Ounce's cancer is basically gone. Look how small that little tumor is now. This man's tumor has basically disappeared. And because of that, we're going to celebrate by feeding him all of this crawfish. Do you want to eat the crawfish, Big Ounce? Why, yes, Dad. I would love to eat all 15 pounds of that heaping bag of crawfish. Now, a couple of these are dead, I'm pretty sure. Like, this one is totally dead. That one's pretty alive. This one's totally dead. This would be excellent food for this adorable little creature here who is now much more healthy and friendly as you can see look at the base of this beautiful man's tail look how nice and healthy he is now basking on this little rock but take a look at this stinky uh, uh smelly uh, uh boy okay before i feed this prairie dog to a giant hey guys today i'm going to be feeding my prairie dog to this giant box of crawfish skip it about uh oh looks like one's crawling out look at this you guys these are Crawfish from Louisiana. Big Ounce, get back here. That one's claws are way too big. Do you think he could eat these? Look at this one. Oh gosh. Oh, no. no, Big Ounce. Okay, guys, it's not safe anymore. It's not safe anymore for an adorable little creature like him. How big this one is. You see, that's a breeder. I will take a small one and I'm going to give it as a little gift to our crocodile. He's a little guy. Oh, this one's smaller. Please, Papa, let me consume all 15 pounds of these crawfish. Please, Papa. Okay, guys, as you can see, the pinches don't hurt too much, but I don't want Big Ounce getting in there because he could actually get hurt by these adorable things, even though he wants to. I do think that they eat insects out in the wild. Even after that, he still just wants to get in there and eat all of them. This man really won't rest until he's eaten every crawfish in this bucket. We need to put these outside now. I put a small one in as a friend for two. Well, now he lives in there. Okay, now we have a little crawfish crawfish friend in here for if they want to be friends they can be friends uh oh one of them crawled out <laughs> Get real close I, to my butt. I didn't get... Wobby moment. Wobby is now much more friendly with me since I started giving him toast. Give him some toast here, as you can see. Oh, looky, he's eating his toast. And all the cappies ran away when I started singing the cringe song from the hit anime, Anime. Big Ounce has breached containment. Here you go, Big Ounce. Here, have a glizzy. I will also be feeding glizzies to all the Rhea. And the rest of the glizzies I don't feed to them are going to be the little starter food that I give to all the crawfish in the pond. No, boy, no. I gave him our epic OK I pull up merch hoodie and now he's content and satisfied. Also, whenever I want him to behave, I just give him a little piece of bread like this and he loves it. Look how well behaved and perfect he is now. Okay, so Big Ounce insisted on being set down whenever I took him out here for that little thumbnail picture. Take your bread. Take your bread, Big Ounce. Take your bread. Don't eat my pumpkin plant. Oh, that would suck if he got under there. Now that that's over with, let's take these guys to the pond. <laughs> Well, well, well. Look who's starting to get comfortable with his brand new wife. If it isn't hit rapper and artist baby and his wife, Vanessa. Here you go, baby. I have 15 pounds of crawfish for you to eat. Perhaps I could interest your wife in 15 pounds of crawfish? My queen, would you like 15 heaping pounds of fresh crawfish? <laughs> Don't be shy. Stick your nose right in there, my queen. Just kidding, you guys. I'm not going to give him this to eat. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> See if the cappies are afraid of crawfish or not. Oh, it looks like that one's pooping on the poop pile. Please, guys, we need interns to clean our capybara poop pile. Oh, Tank just texted me. Perfect. Come on, children. Come have some food. I suppose these guys don't want any crawfish. I left these dinguses locked in here for two days, and they already ate 
all the grass in here. But the good thing is they have all this to eat now too. Look at this boy galloping around in here. An update on the house. Uh, we do have the roof on there, but we need to go ahead and get the city to approve it. Inspectors came out and said that it did not pass inspection. Womp womp. So the contractors and I are going to go to the city on Monday and say, please, 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 please approve it. Now we're going to do a taste test. We're going to see if these goats will eat four heaping pounds of fresh crawfish. All this grass is actually starting to seed now. Can you see that? We can eat this. Look at him wagging his little tail. I'm actually gonna lock this whole area off for a while until it grows back. Okay guys, this is the first pond. I put a bunch of goldfish in here a while ago and I know there's a lot of frogs that live in here. Not too many, but just enough to where we can get a good little head start in there. Come on children. And then the dead ones like this, I'm just gonna go ahead and give to our pig. There you go Petunia, eat that little crawfish right there. Eat it. Okay, these ones also look a little less than alive. H-E-B sells bad crawfish, you guys. Let it be known. But this is what we have pigs for. Here you go, son. Eat these. Look at this little fella. He crawled out all on his own. He's ready to go in there. See, guys, now we're just farming these things. I'm just going to put hot dogs in here every now and then. That'll feed them. And now I'm farming crawfish. How's about you guys all go in the comments and say, wow, Uncle Ben, that's an excellent crawfish farm. You certainly are one of the best crawfish farmers west of Louisiana. So I just spilled about half of them out here. The ones that are alive will crawl down to the water on their own. And the ones that are not alive, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring them back over to the back where the pigs are and they can finish them. Most of them are just crawling into the water on their own. Look, that one's already in. And I honestly think all these guys are gonna do pretty well in here as long as I keep feeding them. And the best thing about these crawfish is they have a much lower oxygen requirement than fish do so I can keep them in here and whenever I need crawfish for bait or whatever I can just scoop a net through here and get them and I can feed the dead ones to this chicken over here see suppose she wasn't very interested in that but how's about you guys all go comment wow uncle ben thank you so much for saving all of those adorable little crawfish and this one's just posted up and while these guys crawl back into the hole the baby and his wife are spending some quality time together look at this little man pinching my thumb and i think this one's actually a different species from these other ones well owie <laughs> get in there look at all these boys just marching on in there take the rest of these guys and put them in the other pond but every one of these ones was already dead so if you guys buy live crawfish at heb just know that a good percentage of them are gonna be dead when you bring them home erin really loves her glizzies <laughs> and she'll eat it whole did you see that she just swallowed that whole thing kevin will probably just end up biting me oh, oh. <laughs> Aaron really loves him, but I'm gonna see if I can get Soldier Boy to have his first glizzy. I don't know what it is. I don't know why Karen loves these so much, but none of the other guys will eat them at all. Probably just the way that she was raised. I guess I'll see if Homelander will eat a glizzy. Go ahead, Homelander. Try it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna see if I can get Homelander to eat this glizzy out of my mouth. Uh, here you go, Homelander. Whoa, this sure is a great video so far, huh, guys? Sure, how's about you like it? POV, you're trying to feed Homelander a glizzy for the first time. Here you go, buddy. Uh, yep, there he goes. He got it. He got it. Wow. Oh, okay. That's not a glizzy. That's my finger. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's that's my finger again. Look at that glizzy sliding all the way down his throat. So now Homelander's a big fan of the glizzy. Oh, 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 dropped it. <laughs> All right, James Charles, here's a nice fresh glizzy. James Charles, stop drinking that water and have this glizzy. Hi, sisters. Come on, James Charles. Oh, sweet wampum. Oh, dropped it. It's kind of nasty that that's just in there now. Oh, thank you, Homelander. That sure doesn't feel good. Okay, guys, so it looks like uh, ostrich and emus love glizzy. Uh, so far, only female Rhea like the glizzies. So far from what I've seen. Looks like they dropped one of them here and stepped on it, too, as you can see. Uh, that's lovely. Crawfish are cannibals, so I could also also put these in there but i'm gonna go ahead and break these into little pieces and drop them in here like this this way they have plenty of food and they also eat algae look at that beautiful couple now i did drop some glizzies in this little pool here so i'm gonna have to clean that out before it becomes a little cesspool for bacteria also just throw some oh i could also throw some crawfish in there okay now i'm gonna go ahead and give all these nice little fresh dead ones to our pigs and then after that uh whenever we need to drain this pond and redo it completely i'm just going to set some traps out for the crawfish and i'm going to cast net it for all the goldfish that are in there so we'll be able to get anything that's alive in here out where we redo these ponds okay guys let's go feed those pigs <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give this to all these creatures, see if they eat it. Oh, okay, there you go. Man, we really out here feeding pigs to the crawfish and crawfish to the pig. Okay, wait, Kevin, hold on. Let me just change it to 4K60. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh he got me. <laughs> but he nicked me there. You see that? 
Get out of here. There she is, sitting right there. She laid eggs in all of these little things. How bizarre is that? Hello, mama. See you got some adorable little eggs that you're sitting on, Bertha. This is so weird. There's one in here, one, two or three in here. There's no way all of these are hers. Dang, Kevin, you looking kind of thick. Look at, look at Kevin. Huh? But that new all the and these guys love eating all the clover that we have growing in here in between the grass. Okay, that's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. Big Ounce's adorable little tumor is almost completely gone, as you can see. So thank you guys so much for praying for him, because doing that literally cured his cancer. I love you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next... Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Stinky ah-ah, uh -uh, boy. Big Ounce, where are you going? Look at this perfect creature. <laughs> hey, it's me, Big Ounce. Please like this video and support us. Leave a little comment. I don't know. Just... Uh...